General Atomic's new air-launched drone, dubbed Eaglet, is set for an army demonstration this summer, a company official told. Eaglet is designed to be launched from either the company's MQ-1C Grey Eagle or MQ-9 Reaper. Though program work is still ongoing, its first flight is scheduled for later this year and General Atomics will be demonstrating Eaglet for the U.S. Army this summer, see Mark Brinkley Senior Director Strategic Communications and Marketing for General Atomics, Aeronautical Systems, or Georgia Ossi, told on Wednesday. Brinkley on Wednesday also exclusively told the name and specification details about the new drone, developed by General Atomics, to keep its legacy unmanned aerial assets relevant in modern, contested airspace. The vehicle, which General Atomics first disclosed the existence of last year, was on display in full-sized mock-up form at the 2022 Special Operations Forces Industry Conference in Tampa, which began on Monday and wrapped up today. The propeller-driven eaglet weighs less than 200 pounds, has a span of 10.5 feet with its pop-out wings deployed, and can fly at a maximum airspeed of 115 knots with a range of about 700 kilometers, 435 miles, or about 8 hours with a payload of about 20 to 30 pounds. Its maximum service ceiling is about 15,000 feet. The mock-up shows the same general layout as had been seen in artwork and smaller models that General Atomics has displayed in the past. It is now even more apparent that the design has at least some low observable, stealthy, features, with what appears to be a flush exhaust port on the top rear portion of the drone's body. What may be two air intakes are seen at the front on either side of the propeller shaft. A stealthy chine fuselage with sloped sides and V-tail round out the reduced signature design. Eaglet is one of the newest entries in General Atomic's Evolution series of advanced UAS concepts, said Brinkley, the goal of Eaglet is to be able to allow the company's now vulnerable legacy drone fleet to continue providing reconnaissance and strike capabilities at a safe distance from enemy anti-access area denial systems. It's a survivable, air-launched effect, hail, designed for use with the MQ-1C Grey Eagle or MQ-9 Reaper, said Brinkley. Eaglet provides capability for multispectral sensing and survivability on the future battlefield. For the better part of the past 20 years, America's drone fleet has ruled the skies, raining down death and destruction and soaking up intelligence largely unmolested because they were operating in permissible environments against adversaries with no air defenses or electronic warfare systems. But those days are over and the U.S. military and defense contractors have been seeking new ways to continue to provide those capabilities while leveraging existing systems, U.S. drones have been vulnerable for a while, even to non-state actors. In 2017, for instance, Yemen's Houthi rebels brought down a U.S. Air Force Reaper. You can read more about that incident, depicted in the video below, here. The inevitability of such vulnerability is why the Army launched its AIL program two years ago. Its goal is to develop a family of smaller drones that can be launched from larger manned or unmanned aircraft that are able to work together in network swarms. Army Futures Command AFC, has identified a future fight in an integrated air defense systems IADS, rich environment where platforms must be survivable, attributable, or expendable to deliver sensing capabilities effectively where one, the MQ-1C Grey Eagle flies racetrack patterns tangential to the IADS threat at 80 km 50 miles distance, 2A, AILS deploy from the MQ-1C Grey Eagle is the forward-most element of the advanced team in areas of expected enemy contact in order to detect, identity, locate and report, DILR, and attack disrupt decoy threat assets to initiate disintegration of the IADS, according to an official 2020 Army contracting notice. 